me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. Turn to Jeremiah 4, 17 and 4. Jeremiah chapter 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt dis discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. So God said he's going to make you discontinue from the heritage. That's why you're, you're clearing up for Christmas. What in your heritage, right? And I will cause thee to save thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. He's going to cause you to serve your enemies in the land which thou knoweth not. For ye have, for ye have kindled a fire in the for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. Right. So you said you kindled a fire in the Most High's anger. All right. He said he's going to kindle forever. When he means forever, he means a physical extension of time, because the kingdom was 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 um, was promised to you. Okay, you blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. And when you're going to call Jesus Christ, I'm actually at the hour shy comes back, he's going to give it to you. He's going to rule with him. Okay, he's going to take down all the kingdoms, like he promised. Yeah, he's going to get rid of the white man. He's going to serve a thousand years of slavery. Okay, then we're going to get rid of that devil, because he's played his part. Okay? Well, who's going to? Forever. Thou sayest the Lord, cares be the man that trusted in man. Curse be the man that trusted in man. There's a lot of you people trusting men. You don't trust in the Lord. Okay? Proverbs 3 and 4 says, Lean unto the, trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. So you're supposed to trust in the Lord, right? And make it flesh in, uh, flesh his arm. And make it flesh your arm. That means you make man's, man's words, your pastor's maybe. Uh, you make his words, your arm, something to lean on, okay? Great. And who's has to be from the Lord? His heart is departed from the Lord, okay? He's not teaching the white man's doctrine over here. He has to go to a theologian school to learn the Bible. Where does it say that in the Bible? You've got to go to a theologian school to find God, for God to teach you. Don't say that. God has to be dealing with you. John, we just read it, John 15 and 16, he says, I have chosen you, you have not chosen me. He'd say, I've chosen you to go to a white man's theologian school. Let's go back to reading the Bible. Yeah? Right? Read that again. And thou, thou sayest the Lord, cursed be the man who trusted in the Lord. And make a plan. Trust in the man who trusted in the Lord. You've got to trust in the Lord. So read that part again. Okay. Cursed be the man that trusted in the Lord. Make it flesh his arm. And do that what say? Curse be the man that trusted in man, not in the Lord. Read that again. Curse be the man that trusted in man. Right, because you've got to trust in the Lord. Yes. I said, Curse be the man that trusted in the Lord. No, I don't want to read it up. Curse be the man that trusted in man. And make it flesh his arm. And whose heart departed from the Lord? whose heart is departed from the Lord, all right? Because what it is, your churches are not teaching about the Bible properly. They're teaching you that Christmas is a good thing. Christmas is not in the Bible. You're not supposed to do Christmas. Walk around in red hats. Put, Christmas, put trees in your house. Where did you say to do that? You said, learn not the way of the heathens. Heathens do that. A man is supposed to wear a beard on his face. That's the law. A woman is not supposed to wear pants. Okay, Deuteronomy 22 and 5 says it is an abomination for a woman to wear pants. That's why you're in the condition, because you don't want to listen to God. So what do you do? He puts you in captivity. What about Axwell? So what did he say? That's not what for he shall be like, for he shall be like a heat in the desert and shall not see when good cometh. Right, read that from the top of it. For he shall be like a heat in the desert and shall not see when good cometh. But who shall not see when good cometh. Because the ones who don't keep the law, statutes, and commandments, 
I ain't going to see you in the most side. Let's get, let's get the coming of the Lord, okay? Because the people think when he's coming, it's going to be a nice time, okay? When the Lord comes back, it's going to be terrible. So we'll get the Revelations 1 and 7. If you get Revelations 1 and 7, and you get me Matthews 10, 34, okay? Because when the Lord comes, he's coming terribly, okay? He's coming to cause terror on the earth, okay? We're going to read a couple more scriptures, then we're going to close out. The sun is beginning to come out and roast some brothers out here, okay? Yeah, Revelation one, 1 and 7. seven. It says, Revelation chapter 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with cloud, and every eye shall see him. Right, the Lord said he's coming with clouds. And as you look up, you can see clouds. It doesn't mean he's coming with dead kind of clouds. It means he's coming with his vehicles. Okay? The most high sun travels and angels travel. You, you, the white man calls them UFOs. The Bible calls them IFOs, identified flying objects, okay? He's coming in, 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 his, in his power, you know what I mean? And the white man and all you nations are going to give up the ghost when the one who called Jesus Christ comes back. He's coming back with full power. Read that again. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. All you going to see Jesus Christ when he comes back. He's coming back in UFOs, IFOs, okay? That's his vehicles what he comes in. Read. And then... And they also which pierced me. Right, the Roman soldiers which pierced him. When he was on the cross, they put the spear in his side. Okay? So he, uh, he says that he's going to come and they're going to see him. So that's reincarnation. When did they do that? When did they pierce Christ? Thousands of years ago. So how are they going to be on the earth for Christ to see them if there's not reincarnation? Because your, 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 your flesh dies, but your spirit never dies. It comes back in your generations. Okay? That's Ecclesiastes um, 12, I think, the 12th chapter. Okay? Read. And all kinds of... And all kindreds of the earth shall will because of him. All kindreds of the earth... I thought when Jesus was coming back, everybody was going to be happy. That's what I thought. He says, you're going to wail when he comes. Because you know why? Because he's coming back to kill you. Give me Isaiah 66 and 15. Alright, read that. Matthews 10 and 34. Matthew chapter 10 verse 30. Think not that I come. Like I am come to send peace on earth. I just think not that I've come to send peace on earth. This is what Christ said. It's not coming to send peace on earth. Read. I come to send peace. Read that again. I think not that I've come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. So Christ is coming with a sword. Okay? And then, and then, and then, what do you say? Do you say any more there? Like, yeah, you can't be said. For I am come to set a man at very against his father. Right, so he's gonna, he's gonna send a, a, a man, he's gonna, he's gonna be um, against his father. Okay, read. And the daughter against her mother. And the daughter against her mother. And the daughter in law against her mother in law. Right. And a man force shall be day of his own household. Right, so your foes, your enemy is going to be of your own household in that day when Christ comes back. Read this one, Isaiah 66 and 15. Isaiah chapter 15, 66 verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. So Jesus is coming with fire, okay, read. And with his chariot like a whirlwind. Jesus is coming with his, his, his vehicles and UFOs. That's what's telling me. Read. And, his child, and with his chariot like a whirlwind to render his anger with you. No, he's going to be very happy when he comes back. <coughs> to render, and again, to render his anger with fury. No, he's going to be laughing and, and chuckling. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So when the Lord comes back, there's going to be fire. Okay? Fire, uh, what's that one? Uh, that, uh, Luke 12 49. It says, um, What would I already kindle? The fire would already kindle. Right, read. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. So by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Read. And the flame of the Lord shall be made 
the slain of our Rashi Yang Yahweh Shai is going to be many. And there's going to be many of the Israelites because he said, start at my house. Okay? Anyway, we're going to close out now. We're going to put in a nice shift. Okay, I'm sure these brothers are hungry or whatnot. Um, so, we're going to say all praises. Repeat after me. All praises to, to Yahweh. By Shem. Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles. A great millstone and salutation to the Akim. Now pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Hey, well,